We're at South High School where tonight, in the rain, the Red Wings host the Pier Redbirds in homecoming 2010. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, and I'm Mike Martin. Hello, everybody. Uh, big game tonight, Chris, for uh, South High because a win tonight puts them in the playoffs. Is that right? Correct. And that's big. Uh, anytime you, you're kind of your goal at the beginning of the year is obviously uh, maybe to win conference, uh, win is, you know, maybe beat North. And uh, probably another thing you always do is, you know, for football is you want to make the playoffs. And the, the standard is basically you have to go 500 in your league, uh, have a 500 record, and then, you know, if, if you're not, let's say you go four and five, there's a very good chance you'll make the playoffs. But for the most part, all you have to do is go 500. And tonight, Sheboygan South has that opportunity. De Pere comes in really in uncharted territory. They're 0 and 5 on the season, 0 and 4 in league, and uh, to make matters worse, they've only scored 22 points all year. On paper, it looks like it should be a pretty easy South win because they do have a dynamic offense. But uh, the great equalizer, like I mentioned in the opening, is the rain. You know, the weather is not uh, very good here tonight. Very good point. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about numbers tonight. One of the things that I look at the uh, South wins. And the teams that they've played so far, the wins are only 2 and 12. So you say, oh, well, maybe they don't have a lot of quality wins or anything. But you, you hit it right on the head, Marty. Just 22 points scored for De Pere, and they're on the bottom of the conference. I mean, they've, they've scored less points than any other team. But uh, you're right, in rain like this and the wind swelling, anything can happen. You know, and it's one thing you should think about is maybe, just maybe, trying to run the ball tonight. Andy Matthews is the quarterback for uh, De Pere. He comes in 31 for 77 with three interceptions, only two touchdowns. Uh, numbers are not good when you compare them to Ethan Berlin. Berlin is 57 for 104, yard, uh, 104 attempts, three interceptions, but has 14 touchdowns and over 1,000 yards already this year. Yeah, he ranks number four in the state, and so you're talking over 400 schools. He's the fourth, uh, throws the most fourth most yards in all of the league, and uh, he is uh, tied for second in touchdown passes, which is quite a remarkable feat. Uh, at this time, Marty, I think they're getting set up for the uh, national anthem. All right, with that, we'll uh, take a time out. So, April, yeah? you know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors expose cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. You get a good shot of the rain, and uh, I'm really glad we did our opening in the booth, Chris. Wow. Even even Pete Barth is up here with us. He usually doesn't slum around with us, but uh, he is tonight. Well, one thing Pete does like to do is get down on the field and by the action and stuff. I know he's mentioned that a number of times. One thing with the rain, we talked to uh, Dave Hine, Chris's dad, before the game, and he did say that this is game number three for them in the wet. So they have a little experience uh, playing in that this year. We never like to see a wet Fridays. I always look forward to my Fridays and I always hope that the rain holds off. But One of the things that uh, I think is generally accepted is that uh, in the rain like this, the offensive receivers have the advantage because they know where they're going where the defensive backs don't. And with uh, having Murray and Tudis and Callahan on the receiving end for South High, you'd think they'd have a big advantage in that respect. And uh, Berlin is a uh, very accurate left-handed thrower. Yeah, what's amazing is uh, Riley Tudis comes in, ninth in the uh, state in yards. Uh, he's tied for first with touchdowns. Uh, Thomas Murray, don't mention him, but he's number 100 in yards. And uh, you think about all the schools 
You know, that's 800 wide receivers or tight ends or mm -hmm. running backs to have two kids in the top 100. That's quite an accomplishment for one school. Tudis is averaging 24.7 yards per catch. Uh, Murray's even stronger than that at 26.3 yards per catch. And there you get a bit of a glimpse of Chris Hine in the background. Brady Callahan uh, has 10 catches for 179 yards, so he's averaging 17.9 a catch. So uh, South High is definitely vertical in their passing game. Well, I just, you'll have to, how difficult it'll be in the rain tonight, that's for sure. Uh, all the coaches are in tonight that appear to our left. And on our right, we even have the South High guys are in here as well. Nobody's uh, going outside to take on the, the, the rain. We think, according to Eric Wiesman, that it should possibly lighten up and maybe for the second half will be dry. I said hopefully. Richard Bartson is uh, running the top camera, giving you that shot right there. And uh, Eric Wiesman is on the uh, field camera. And uh, spinning the dials in the truck tonight is Scott Mayloff. Of course, uh, Chris Wright and myself, Mike Martin, are doing the uh, announcing. Uh, have some uh, familiar faces on the crew. Uh, Chad Zelli is, I believe it is, is uh, one of the officials, and uh, he's a South High grad. How do they do that? <laughs> Get a South High grad doing a South High game. Gary Oldrich is a North High grad. Graduated with my son Patrick back in 94. He's working the game tonight. And he's done a lot of youth games. Yeah, Scott Otten out there too from the area. And the fans are excited, and they should be. you got a wonderful football team. Jake Tough Clinton. loss last week. Plans kick is... Uh, Carries down to about the 22 yard line and uh, hit and dropped at the 32 is uh, De Piers, Brad Reby. Well, here comes Andy Matthews and the De Piers Redbirds, as we mentioned in the opening. Just a sophomore. Just Matt a sophomore, but. Uh, just shooting 40% and 356 yards. Two touchdown passes, and that's not a lot with three interceptions. Tight formation. Man in motion. Inside handoff. And uh, not much there for the De Pere running back. I believe that was Van Stratton, number 42, Matt Van Stratton. Yeah, Van Stratton leads them with uh, 42 carries, 204 yards. 4.9 yards per carry, but he does not have a touchdown yet this year. And uh, what, you know, when you're running back through, you know, this is the sixth week of the season, you only have a touchdown yet. Uh, that's not a good thing. No, they've been uh, scoring challenged. On the, on the wide carry, the uh, runner spins off a one block, that being McVeigh, and then uh, continues on and picks up pretty good yardage. That's his sixth carry, excuse me, he's got more than that. He's got it's only uh, his seventh, seventh carry. carry of the year <laughs> to go with uh, five catches. Picks up about five yards on that play, makes a third and three. Sure took a long time to get moving. They're not moving very well in the, the slick rain out there, Marty. Up the middle and hit right at the line of scrimmage and pulled back. I don't think Van Stratton has the first down on that one. No, Yang made a good hit there. Abraham Yang, the 170 pound senior, number 50 was right there. Wow. Well, they did get the first down, Wow, we Didn't think he was getting it. Lean forward. It's gonna be first and 10. Ball spotted on the 43 yard line. On the wide play, good fill, nice tackle made by Jake Planton. On the ball carrier, Zellner. There's another oh. sophomore. They have a lot of sophomores on this roster, Marty. And that's part of the reason why they're probably not doing very well. He's uh, breaking in those young guys. Wow. Loss of one makes it second down and 11. Wide outs left and right. For the Redbirds. Van Stratton slips on the wet turf and tries to battle forward, gets it up over the 45 before he's knocked down. 
You know, it's one thing in some sports where you can have a sophomore here and a sophomore there. And even in football, you can sprinkle a couple in there, but physically a junior and a senior just seems to be so much bigger and stronger. You know, <laughs> you know it's the learning curve is a little more difficult in football because you're just getting pounded on. You know, it's just very tough for sophomores. You know, they're just not as big as strong. Now, obviously, we've had a lot of good ones over the years, but you can't just have a whole team full of them. Inside handoff to Van Stratton, and he gets pulled down at about the 48-yard line. Not much there. Van Stratton is a senior. Well, he's definitely getting his carries, Chris. Yep. Yang again with a nice tackle there, which is going to force a deep here punt at the 920 mark, Marty. Trent Keitel back deep. He's the lone return man. Whoa, high snap. Kick is away. Keitel lets it roll and it takes a nice De Pere bounce all the way down inside the 10 yard line. Oh, well, South will take over deep in their own territory, first and 10. Like they're going to have it on the five. Uh, we'll call it the six, I think, huh, Chris? That look look correct to you? Seven yard line. Seven yard line. Murray wide to the left, two to south to the right. In motion, two to he takes it. Looking for the outside, he's got the corner, spins off a tackle and gets it out to the 15 yard line before he's knocked down. Going right with Riley Tuas on a little reverse there. Not much there. I tell you, everything seems so slow, Marty, because it's just so wet. Pick of eight yards on the play. Tudis wide to the right. And a little shotgun action. Taking it off a right tackle was uh, Ashen Anderson. Yeah, it was just a little wildcat, Marty. Direct snap right to Anderson. Got enough for a first down. Ball spotted on uh, just uh, behind the 20. We'll call it the 19. That was a four yard pickup. We get a good shot in the backfield with uh, Berlin was Pua Vu. And we get an official's timeout for equipment. Eric Wiesman giving you that shot. Pete Barth indicating he thinks the rain has stopped, and it does look like it has. Tudis in motion, hand off to him, cuts it up inside, spins down, and uh, is near first down yardage. He's going to be just short, but a nice play on uh, first down for the Red Wings. Pickup of nine for uh, Tudis. He's got 17 yards and two carries, Chris. Ball spotted on the 28 yard line. Tudis wide right, Murray wide left. Hartman slips one tackle and gets it out near the 40 yard line. Nick Hartman on the carry. More of this Wildcat direct snap stuff. Not your orthodox running game, but very you effective. You're going to see it. Take, check the blockers on the left side. Now there were two running backs in the backfield helping him to lead the blocking. Very efficient, and in ball this wet weather, I think this is a good plan. That was a 10-yard pickup. Ball on the 38-yard line. Hartman dropped the ball and just falls on it. A good, good play to do that, but uh, got to be able to handle it. 
on that direct snap, and that's going to be a big loss. Loss of six. All this time now, Ethan Berlin is on the sidelines. And uh, Nick Hartman, who's best known for his linebacker abilities, is running the offense. Hartman is not listed as a quarterback. Well, this is just full wildcat runs. Very surprised to be a throw. Hartman tries to slip a tackle but can't. Uh, picks up maybe a couple, not much. And on third down and a bunch, they're gonna send out uh, Jake Knuth, a sophomore. They're also gonna send out Josh Grinke and uh, Ethan Berlin back in the lineup. I didn't think that was a bad idea to try to run like that, Marty. No, it really hurt when they uh, got the six yard loss. It's hard to overcome that many yards. I yep. mean, a one yard loss you know, isn't too serious, but uh, boy, you're looking at six yards lost, it's a lot. Close to delay, barely got it off. Hand off to Granke and uh, he's knocked down at the 35. Only picks up maybe a yard. You know, I think Granke, they tried to use his speed there, but in this wet stuff, it's gonna be difficult to do that, you know, use that speed that he's capable of. Gives uh, enough time for DePierre to kind of react. It's a there good see, play. Uh, missed a the block there, forced him back even deeper. And then uh, making the tackle was Brett Hurley. Short punt, whoa. And DePierre is gonna get it in South Territory at about the 41. Holy cow, six yard punt, Chris is telling me. Ay, ay, ay. Well, the wind is a howling and uh, that didn't help the uh, situation. And uh, just like that, well, South was battling field position when they took the ball over back at their seven yard line. They had gotten it out to the 35 or 38 yard line, and then they had the six yard loss. And Mike Rank on the sidelines directing the uh, defense. Okay, wide outs left and right. Shotgun formation by Matthews. And they're Pass. looking at the uh, halfback option and picked off. Murray on the interception and he's gonna get dragged down at the 21. Good defense that time by South, good reaction. Well, I thought Marty, they read that all the way. Murray was right there, just thrown into a spot actually. Poor choice, but uh, tried to make a good play, but that was completely underthrown and an easy interception. So South is going to take over. They're going to have it at the uh, 21 yard line, first and 10. And Berlin in the backfield. And <laughs> dropped his mouth guard. <laughs> and right up the middle. Right up the middle on the carry is Pua Vu. Boy, what a mistake by up here there. You get your quick turn, or, you know, yeah, get change the it, and then you give it right back. I mean, I, not a, I don't think that was a very intelligent call. Second and six, gain a four on the play by uh, Pua Vu. Did you get who the interception was on? Yeah, Murray had that. But who threw Thomas it? Thomas Murray, I thought it was 85, oh, Matt Cross. Matt Cross, 85, yep. Ashen Anderson, I believe, is gonna take the uh, snap and gets by him. South recovers it inside the 10 yard line and again, another quarterback center exchange problem. Well, Marty, it goes back to the situation where they can't run a straight, you know, they don't have a straight running game. You know, they rely on Berlin and Vu a little bit this is just a little wrinkle in this, but the rain is just not working very well. Thanks, Sim, giving us an update on a De Pere player. Anderson taking it right up the middle, trying to get what he can. He gets it up over the 10, but uh, again, South is gonna have terrible field position. 
Well, they didn't turn it over, Marty, twice, but they've sure done enough damage with that. Really, it's as good as a turnover, actually, in, a, in some respects. Okay, timeout to Pure. 3.02 remaining in the first quarter. No score in what has been a mistake-marred first quarter. You know, one of the other things, Chris, is now they have to punt the ball from even deeper in the own, their own territory, and they had uh, a devil of a time trying to get that first punt down the field. So it went only six yards. Yeah, into a very gusty wind. And uh, Murray's got a good leg. I mean, he, I think he's maybe the best punter in the whole league. But uh, it's going to be <laughs> tough against this wind. Not against the gale, he's not. No. A good snap. Punt is away and he's knocked down. We're going to have a penalty thrown. And uh, this might be an automatic first down for South. I'm not sure how they do this. But uh, Murray definitely got roughed. This, <laughs> this is just... How uh, dumb can you be? <laughs> I mean, come on. You just, you're just you playing so like in South. You haven't won. You got the ball in the 35. You got an interception. Now you're rough the punter. Riley Tudis talking to the official about the uh, penalty situation. Personal foul, roughing the kicker against a peer. And uh, that's the reason why you're 0-5, Chris. Yep. The penalty results in a first down for uh, the Red Wings. That's just so stupid. I mean, come on. I mean, you can't rough the guy. You're gonna have great field position regardless. I mean, I understand going for the block punt. That was a great call, but unbelievable. Ball on the 27, first and 10 south. Berlin in the gun. And another bad snap gets underneath his hands. And he's going to dive on it inside the five-yard line. Unbelievable. Well, did you mention, Marty, that uh, the rain might have an effect? <laughs> but uh, we were hoping to do it for the white shirts, oh, we... not the red shirts. Where is that ball? Are you going to spot it on about the eight-yard line? It's going to be a 19-yard loss. And... Uh, Berlin is still not in the game. Well, I thought he was back there Trevenau actually for that one. Trevenau is now back there. Okay. Uh, I wish I understood what was going on there. Talking on the sidelines to Berlin, but that was Prevenau that jumped on that last fumble recovery. What was? Good call. Get out of the mess. Let's get to the second quarter and swing the wind. Prevenau is kind of hobbling a little bit. And he's going to have to be a little quicker getting these plays in, Marty. Yeah, Prevenau picks up maybe three or four on that. It's going to be third down and in the 20s. Right up the middle and nothing doing there for the uh, South High running back. Well, if I'm De Pere, uh, De Pere. I'm, call, I'm calling timeout right here. And they do. <laughs> 133 remaining yeah. in you, the quarter. You want to make them punt into this wind. And that was a good decision there by uh, Brian Robis, the uh, coach for De Pere. Good decision there. Force. Yeah, that was. Force. Sheboygan South to... Uh, punt into this wind and this is two quarters in a row that South has been pinned last week it was against Ashwaubenham they just couldn't get out 
Lost the game, and now to start this game, the wind has been a cruel thing. But you know what? It's going to shift the other way in about. Well, two nothing's going to shift, Chris, until they start getting that quarterback center exchange going. That's not, not going to matter what what position you're or what uh, if you're going with or without the wind. They got to get that squared away first of all. And we do have a young man down here warming up, Matt Fox, taking centers with Privernow. Watch this too here. Let's hope this goes. It does. Punt is away, doesn't, uh, yeah, it does take a bit of a bounce for uh, South. It's gonna drop dead just inside the 40 yard line. So again, not a great punt. Maybe about 19 yards on that baby. 25. 25. 25. Again, uh, De Pere is gonna take over in great field position. Last time they were spotted right on the 40 and uh, threw an interception from a receiver. But we had them fooled. First and 10 ball on the 39. Pitch out on the wide play, and we get a, block, a foul on a block. The ball carrier was uh, Evan Zellner, but uh, this play is coming back. I want to know why. I want to see this on replay because I thought that was a nice clean block there on 42. I thought that was a nice clean block. I don't know about that one. Hey, watch, watch, it's no, gonna watch be it. on the bottom of your screen. Right there, yep, oh, definitely 20, got him in the back. 20, yep, not 42. But it's kind of up, kind of ran Travis awesome. Barber got uh, yep. cheated good, on. Good call there on 20. I thought it was gonna be on 42 and that was like just a nice kick out block. I don't know, Chris. I thought you had good eyes, man. I did. I said 42 <laughs> didn't block illegally. All right, first down in a bunch. About 21. Andrews, or Matthews, pardon me, uh, is going to get sacked. Ripped down on a nice tackle by, by Hartman. Nick Hartman on the good tackle. Wow. Andy Matthews didn't have much of a chance there. Loss of three on that. Welcome to Sheboygan South tackling. Look at Hartman. He came in there just charging. Vroom. Try to run on this split team. Inside handoff. And breaking to the outside is Van Stratton. And uh, he's running hard and gets it inside the 40. And they're going to have third down in less than 10. Well, they're not, well, they're hustling so they can get one more play off in the quarter. 14 seconds and the clock is running. I don't know if they're going to have time. Nope. Look at him. Bull his way through there. A lot of arm tackle in there. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. You said, yeah, come on, you promised. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. Kenny, I'm going to put a table de multiplication on my day. Prof and trap. Prof and tersis. Prof and tersis. Bujak, Maria ma, dah hamun gunyo wah. Third down, third nine, big play, big big play. 
And Stratton slips off of a couple tackles but goes back to do it and he's knocked back to the 40 before he's dropped. So it's gonna be a loss of yardage. Well that was Van Stratton versus the Red Wings there. There was no upfront blocking and good pursuit there. And now gonna force him into a punt which should flip the wind a little bit. It's gonna be very difficult now for De Pere. All you had to do is get that stop right there and uh, which they did. <laughs> force them to punt now and now we're with the win. Trent Keitel back. I feel a lot better now Marty. Yeah I don't blame you. I feel I think, the same way. I think everything's going to be okay now. <laughs> High snap but uh, punter gets it away. Oh boy. Well the ball uh, just hit Ashen. Ashen Anderson needs to be aware, and Trent Keitel needs to help him on something like that. That's correct. Don't blame Anderson there. Blame Keitel. Get away, uh, get away, get away. They haven't signaled who has the ball. Well, yeah. Come on guys, make the call. It's not a it's not difficult here. I think they just kind of clarify that it did hit the De Pere player. Somebody's got there. First oh. down De Pere. That's not Anderson's fault there. That should be Keitel telling him get out to the right, go to the left, just move, move, move. Okay, it's going to be first and 10 ball on about the 16 yard line. Matthews under center. And they've given uh, South a strong dose of Van Stratton and he gets it down inside the 15 for another nice gain. Well, Van Stratton kind of limped away on the last little one there, but uh, he's up in there. There you'll see, oh, nice replay right off his back and right to the De Pere player. Yeah, it looks like it's raining again. Oh, uh, yes, quite a bit. Second down and eight. Great replay there. Third back through, trying to slip to the outside, but going nowhere is uh, McVeigh. Third down. Well, they tried to run a little counter there, but South, very smart, staying home, led by Blake Herbert. Number 81 here on the end. Stayed home, made the nice play there. Okay, it's third down and 10. Van Stratton in the backfield alongside uh, Matthews. And they give it off to him. Spins off a one tackler and then is knocked down inside the 15 yard line. Well there you can see a nice shot of the rain just coming down. Yeah she's coming down harder now I think than it was at any time previous. I gotta be honest with you Marty they are getting no upfront blocking whatsoever. I mean Penn Stratton is just running. I mean there's nobody clearing the holes. He's just kind of running to Getting what nothing. he can. Yeah. yeah. I mean Trying to run through tacklers. I feel like I'm watching a youth football game. All righty. Wide receivers left and right. Again, Van Stratton in the backfield with uh, Matthews. And out pattern is complete, but short of the first down. Nice tackle made out there by Planton. And another chance for DePierre goes awry as <laughs> he runs a shorter pattern than the line and turnover on downs break for no, uh, south the catch was made by McVeigh but is for very short yardage it's going to be first and ten first and ten south ball spotted on the nine yard line inside handoff I think that was a uh, Pu'avu, and uh, he gets very little. 
Vu comes in with uh, 22 carries, just 77 yards. And again, if you think about it as your so-called running back, just 22 carries in five games, you can do the math. That's just over four a game. Got to get more production from that spot. And I know that I like the wrinkles that Coach Hine put in, trying to run that Wildcat. Just in the wet, it's going to be difficult. Second down and eight. Looking, going deep to uh, Tudis. And the pass is intercepted. Making the interception was Kane Johnson. And there you're going to see it goes back the ball was overthrown and Johnson played it perfectly came down with the catch just the fourth interception on the year by Ethan Berlin trying to go to Murray and uh, I'll tell you what it's, uh, it's a good not thing. the way we anticipated this game going well, for sure it's a good thing you got such a stagnant offense into Pierre that it's not hurting you right now ball spotted on the 44 Inside handoff to Van Stratton. He gets uh, maybe two or three. I'll tell but, you uh, what. South, South is getting a heavy dose of him this uh, Yeah, yeah. Abraham Yang is just building up the tackles. Big Matt well, I had Fox Van Stratton with uh, five me. carries in the first quarter. He's got three more in this quarter. Thank goodness he hasn't broken one yet. No. Apologize on that. It was uh, Huffman on the big tackles there. On the wide play and not going anywhere as McVeigh making a nice tackle was Hartman. Nick Hartman on the play. Yang. He's been all over the field. Yep. Yang, Hartman, Yang, Hartman, Yang, Hartman. <laughs> Come on, Marty. You playing favorites tonight? <laughs> not me. It's going to be very difficult to run in this wet and uh, good pursuit again. All right. Two wide receivers off to the right. Inside handoff to Van Stratton. He tries to spin off, but uh, a slew of uh, Red Wings bringing him down. Starts and uh, who is that getting off the bottom of the pile? Lancer, I believe that was. Going to be fourth down. Well, Sheboygan South is yet to be in uh, De Pere territory. You know, whistle timeout, De Pere. Uh, <laughs> that might be. Well, they do have one more nope, left. That's it. That's it. Uh, not according to the scoreboard, Chris. I think they got to take it off right now. Yeah, but they got two left. They shouldn't. They took one earlier, and then they yeah, took now one. It's zero. Yeah. <laughs> they went from two to zero. You were right. <laughs> well, I knew they took one earlier, Marty, and then they took one when they to get with the wind. And then uh, this one right here. Great. Def you got to love it if you're a defensive linebacker. <laughs> this is a great game. You just make all these tackles. Because <laughs> nobody's Run them off the me. middle, and we'll tackle them. Because <laughs> nobody's hitting us. <laughs> the only thing we're doing is doing a lot of hitting on Van Stratton. But I do fear what you said, just that one breakaway to, you know, but. Uh, well, if I, I believe Van Stratton did have a nice run. He had a, I actually had him down here for a 23 yard run, but uh, I think it was second down and 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Keitel again back deep. Let's see if uh, South can handle this punt. And. Ball goes out of bounds right near the 20 yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 south with uh, 6.30 remaining in the half and uh, no score so far. Well, I... He did a pretty good job of punting with the wind, Chris. What did 20, it go, 21 22. yards? <laughs> 20, 22 yards. <laughs> well, in the scheme of things, that's not too bad. <laughs> First and 10 Red Wings, ball on the 20. There's only 6.30 in the second quarter, Marty. This game is just cruising. That's what happens when you run the ball. Pua Vu gets it up to about the 21, and I'll tell you, there's not much running going on by either team. Well, 
pick up a one yard. We got one on one coverage on Riley. I Tudis. think uh, Hartman is going to take the snap on this. Nope, I take that back. That is Hartman, yes. And a great pursuit by uh, DePierre. Hartman gets knocked down at the 19 yard line, a loss of two. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is not what we'd call stellar offense by any means. No, and I Kruber don't. now in at quarterback. Yeah, I don't see Berlin. I wish I knew the situation there. Go to our sideline. He's down here report. on the sideline. Looks like he's being talked to by uh, some medical personnel. We don't know what's wrong, but they definitely miss him. Kruber now back, looking. Fires run over the middle. Tudis. Had a shot at it, but was falling down as he made the cut and couldn't come up with the catch. So pass goes incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. Well, Prebino looked at Tudis, looked at Tudis, looked at Tudis, looked at Tudis. Tudis fell down, threw to Tudis, off his hands, incomplete. Another punt, here we go. Good punt trying to pick it up is Newhouse and he leaves it and the ball is going to be spotted down at about the 42 yard line. First and 10, the pure. The big fear I have, Chris, is right now the score is nothing, nothing, but the longer you leave the pure in the game, the more confidence they're going to gain and uh, all of a sudden they're going to be a ball of fire. Well, I'm not worried until they score. Then I start worrying. Well, the I thought they could have tried for an extra point, or pardon me, a field goal that last trip down. Matthews fakes the handoff, and then the pass to McVeigh is incomplete. Second down. 4.55 remaining until halftime. No score. Neither team has uh, come really very close. DePierre did have it inside the 10, but uh, didn't gain anything on a fourth down play. Inside handoff to Van Stratton. He lowers the shoulder, and uh, he's a load. Gets it up to about the 45-yard line. We'll give him a gain of four. Nick Hartman dragged on the carry, but... Uh, Still, long situation for the pier. So we're under four and a half minutes, and you can still see the horrible rain. One thing that the pier has been uh, has shown is there a little more abil not ability, but uh, propensity to throw the ball. Inside hand off the Van Strad, and he gets tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. Give him maybe a yard, best when he fell down. I'm not. Fourth down. Yeah. This is your golden opportunity now. You should get really good field position here, Marty. Punting into a relative to what they've had the rest of the half. You're right. right. But getting closer to the 50 yard line and into the pier territory. Title is at the 30. Punt is away. He's retreating, calling for the fair catch. And loses it. The pier's got it at the 25 yard line. And that's why they play the game. Second loss fumble by South. <laughs> Holy cow. First down 10, ball on the 25. I thought Keitel made the right play to try and uh, catch the ball, but uh, you gotta catch it. It's wet. Van Stratton in the backfield. He's a lone setback behind quarterback Andy Matthews. And he takes it right up the middle and he's hit immediately. Making the stop for South was Abraham Yang. As I mentioned before, it appears such a stagnant offense. They just struggle so bad that uh, defense for South is so good that 
it's not a horrible look at that. Yeah, There's Yang. Yang. Goes right That's in number there. 50. Oh boy. Yeah. Two wideouts out to the right. One of them being uh, Logan Sudinski. Fake and a pass right up the middle to the tight end is caught. You know, I think that's like the only pass they can play. You know, to they making a catch. That's they're limited on what they can do. That's one. The only thing you really got to take away. That's a nine-yard completion, though, Chris. Well, they don't have a first down yet. And we're at two and a half minutes, and we have a 40-minute half. Wow. Well, we McVeigh, uh, pardon me, Van Stratton. In the backfield, he takes the handoff, trying to get off tackle. He's going to be close to the first down as he leaned forward. The linesman is marking him at the 15, which would give him a first down, and it is a first down. Marty, have you mentioned about just going up the middle when you have a less than a yard on some of these high school teams? Yeah, I think we mentioned it last week, didn't we? <laughs> Especially when you got a 240-pound back. Yeah, why are running like that one off week? tackle? I mean. I mean, it's a great call for a different situation. There you see the replay on the pass. That's the only pass play I take away, especially against the win like this, is this short, quick pass like that. McVeigh on the uh, sweep. Gets knocked down at about the 11 or 12 yard line. Does pick up some yardage, but not a lot. 153 and counting here in the quarter. And uh, we mentioned it before, the pier is out of timeouts. So, uh, one thing that uh, the pier is doing much better than South is they keep moving forward. They don't get those big losses. You know, they're little chunks here and there, but they're, they're moving forward. Fake handoff. Matthews to the end zone. Touchdown. Caught on touchdown. Reese Zelly on the catch. And the Piers on top. Eleven yard play. Oh man. Wow. Kick is up. And good by Brett Marshall. <laughs> now we're worried. Well, Chris, what we could use right now is a nice return, and uh, there's definitely enough time, 120, if they elect to go to the passing game a little bit. But uh, the way South has run their offense, they've looked uh, as stagnant and worse than uh, De Pere. Yeah, it's just uh, not going. I don't know what's up with Ethan Berlin right now. That's concern He's still standing on the sideline, and uh, you know when you look at him from up here, he's just standing there. He doesn't look hurt. Well, I doesn't have equipment off. He's not sitting on the training table or anything. I wish I knew uh, because of the fact that, you know, why is he standing by the trainer and not by Coach Hine? That's where I'm concerned right now. Right. Yeah, that tells us something right there. Rain is coming down very heavy again. Marshall gives it the boot. Ball is over the receivers. I don't know where they were thinking. Granke's got it. Gets around the corner and any falls down or is tripped down outside the 20 yard line. Not a great return by any means. It's going to be first and 10 south. Well, wow. at the 22 yard line. So they're 78 yards away from pay dirt. Perbernell is the quarterback again. If I'm uh, Perbernell is a junior. If I'm De Pere, I've got three guys on number two. I'd have guys at the 50. I would not I would not be going single coverage on number two right here. Perbernell deep. Fire, he's hit as he throws. Tudis comes up and makes the catch outside the 45-yard line. These teams are so tough. 
don't they know anything? Do they, do they really scout? <laughs> because Riley Tudis is just a stud, and you, to let him out there on single coverage, thank you very much. Cover him single again. Come on, go ahead. 25 yard pickup on that play. Pribernell, Tudis is uh, at the top of the screen. Pribernell losing his balance, but uh, manages to keep it and then gets the ball up to near the 50 yard line, a couple of yards. 54 seconds remaining until halftime. South calls a timeout. But uh, still just over 50 yards away from Pedro. Nice to get uh, Tudis on another long one. Well, I just don't understand why you single cover him late in the half. You got the whole field to cover. I mean, I don't. where's the cover to? Or no safety help. We're just going to go one-on-one -on, -one on that guy. Do, 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 you know, it's, sometimes I just don't understand. Why they, do. We saw this a couple weeks ago, too. Oh, we'll just cover him with our best guy. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> we'll take our guy against your guy. Absolutely. All right, second down and nine. Ball spotted on about the 49-yard line. Where's the DePere guy, number 52, going? <laughs> we want to join their huddle. They talk about more interesting things than we do. That's that Aaron Stratoff that we just got yeah, changed added, his number. Yeah, added a player here. Well, we he didn't really add him, Chris. He was he was on the roster, just had a different number. Pribernell, whoa. Wheels it out to uh, Tudis. He makes a catch, but is hit immediately. He's down to about the 46-yard line. Not enough for a first down, however, and the clock is running. South calls another timeout. Well, a little struggle with the snap there again, Marty. Yeah. Another concern. It's still just kind of sprinkling. It's not as bad as it was, but it's not pleasant. That was a short completion of only five yards. It's gonna be third down and about four or five. There are 43 seconds left until halftime. South trying to get in position to score points. They trail it seven to nothing on an 11 yard pass play. Berlin in. Berlin is in the backfield now at quarterback. Granke in motion. Berlin looking to the outside. His pass is wobbly and incomplete. You know what I didn't? Fourth down now. The only thing is I didn't see Berlin like doing any warm-ups on the side. So no, I came in a little cold. Here you'll see it. It just didn't get a... You know, after halftime here, come out, get some throws, and get yourself a little warmed up there. I like, I like this move south, going for it on fourth down here. Chris Hine calling timeout. There's 39 seconds left, and I believe that uh, it's the last timeout for south also. I wouldn't have called timeout, though, because the clock was already stopped. Uh, to set up a play, I would, because it is fourth down. Well... I mean, you're caught between a rock and a hard place. You know, you're kind of darned if you do and darned if you don't. Since we can't use the other word. Yeah. You know what, Chris? I think it's time for a promo. <laughs> Our next ball game is going to be next week, Friday, October if when uh, Green Bay East comes to Sheboygan again to play North in their homecoming. It's our trifecta. Yeah. It's going to be three in a row for us. Or our quad because last week we had the Lutheran Kohler Christian homecoming game. Yeah, do we count each of those schools as a separate homecoming? Uh, That'd be five I then. Think two of them had, I think two of them had the homecoming last week. Berlin wanted to run and he's not going to get away. He's going to get hit and dropped at the 40-40 yard line. And uh, DePier will have it with 33 seconds left. That did not work. Ooh. Well, there's a second half. <laughs> Don't need all of it, too. 
There you see Berlin stepped up into the hole and then there was nothing there and then it was too late to try and get out of it. If I'm to appear here, I'm taking a knee. Yes, I agree with you wholeheartedly on that uh, They're strategy. in a victory formation, which they don't use. They don't know how to run this. <laughs> Haven't done it all year. All right, and that's going to run down. We're going to run into halftime. Neither team has a timeout. And there you see it, the Redbirds leading South High in homecoming 2010 here at South High School. 7 to nothing in uh, a very surprising ball game. And uh, I don't want to be a predictor, but uh, when I said the weather can be an equalizer, it certainly has been all of that tonight so far. Well, we're at halftime with the pier on top, seven to nothing. There comes a time in life when you need government information. And you just don't know which way to turn. USA.gov. Find your social security benefits online. USA.gov. Our list of jobs will put you on cloud nine. USA.gov. Shop auctions for a used minivan anytime. USA.gov. It's government made easy. For the people. USA.gov. He passed away last year. It was hard at first. When I found out how sick he was, the doctor suggested hospice care at home. Hospice helped so much. He came home, and that was wonderful. They helped me take care of him. They made his last months comfortable, pain-free. We were able to find some joy till the very end. Hi, I'm Reed Sorensen. Racing has been a part of me and my family for as long as I can remember. I had to make tough choices early on to get to the top. It took hard work and dedication, but it's those tough choices that helped me prepare for challenges I would face as a cup driver. Make the right choices today and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Uh, South High School. We're just wrapping up halftime there. You see it. De Pere is up 7 to nothing. And uh, coming out, we were wondering what was going on because Ethan Berlin did not uh, play much in that first half. And uh, we got word that he was sick. The team is out loosening up. He is coming off, coming onto the field uh, first now after the team is doing their loosening up. And uh, doesn't look like he'll be playing much in the second half. We hope that's not the case, but... Uh, he's just looks gingerly. Look at how slow he's walking, Marty. What a yeah, tough break for that young man. He's such a nice kid. Some uh, halftime stats. Uh, let's go through uh, De Pere first. They're a little more reasonable. They had 49 yards rushing. 47 of those were by Matt Van Stratton, their senior running back, who came into the game with only 42 carries in five games. He has 14 already in the first half. And uh, they chipped in with 23 yards passing on uh, three for five with one interception. And uh, they had an 11 yard pass play to uh, Reese Zelli for a touchdown, the only score of the game. They totaled out at 72 first half yards, Chris. First South, much more bleak. Minus three yards rushing, most of those coming as a result of poor snaps to the uh, either the Wildcat running back or to the quarterback. But uh, minus three yards rushing in the first half. 31 yards passing on two of five passing with one interception. And of those 31 yards, 27 of those came on one play. 
And that was the long pass play to uh, Riley Tudis. Uh, not good production by either squad, really. No, it's, I mean, we mentioned in the opening that the weather would play a part, and it definitely did tonight. And I think it's a good shot of Marty. And there's Dave Hine right there. He does all the filming for Sheboygan South, and he's a wonderful uh, Tudis, by the man. way, led all rushers for South High with uh, 17 on two carries. Oh. He had two early sweep plays that uh, netted nine and eight yards. But uh, other than that, uh, Perbernau has a minus 12, Berlin minus 8, uh, Ashton Anderson, Ashton Anderson has minus 9, and uh, boy, it's just, uh, has not been a good half, good first half for South. No, but defensively, South's been great. I mean, they've just been outstanding. They've had the short field. South never got into uh, the territory there. Mm, I don't think they got the inside the, well, they were at the 38 once, and then they had that loss. Okay. Uh, I believe that was about the best they did. But uh, the defense played outstanding. It was just one, you know, pass play is all that, that mattered. Well, you they give them great. enough shots deep in your own right. territory, you know, you're asking for trouble. Line drive kick is short hop by Granke. He fakes the handoff, takes it around the right end. There's an opening for him, and he's through it. One man to beat. And uh, making the tackle was uh, Zach Gavin, saving a touchdown. South has it first and 10 out near the 50 yard line. The where? <laughs> That's great. Well, they're going to get it first or 10. Ball on the 46, but that's close enough to the 50. Berlin is in the backfield, Chris. Number seven at quarterback. Hopefully he's feeling better. I'll give him a good dose. Pish out to uh, Granke, cutting it back. He's hit and pushed back at the 50-yard line. That'll be a pickup of four. Hopefully they got him something at halftime. Maybe could f sneak something into him, some uh, Give him orange, juice or, <laughs> orange juice or Alka-Seltzer. I mean, something to get him going here, some, something that's going to help him out a little bit, give him a little energy. Jake Knuth coming in the huddle there, number 84. Also coming into the uh, huddle was Ashen Anderson. Berlin, the lone setback in the shotgun. Going against the wind here. Anderson in motion. Berlin loses it and then drops on it at the 40-yard uh, line. And uh, well, that, that was just not a catch. Yeah, he stepped away before it came that time. And we've seen this before. Two weeks ago, we were here, the ball rolled to him. This week, it seems the ball's up there, but... Uh, going all different directions. Still raining and still quite gale force winds. It almost reminds me of the north-south game last year. It was a little colder that day, but same type thing where the wind was howling and the rain was coming from 27 different directions. And uh, it's kind of like today. It's very difficult to move the ball. Second down and 15. Pitch back to uh, Granke, eludes one tackler, eludes a second tackler, slips through the uh, group of uh, the pure Redbirds, and then he's knocked down, and a penalty at the end of the play. He was hit out of bounds. That'll give South the first down. Well, I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. The poor tackling. There's one. There's one miss. And here's another one. And then to add to it, let's just hit him now. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you thinking? Exactly. <laughs> That's just a sophomore. You want the sophomores out there? Sophomores are going to make mistakes. That's a 15-yarder, and that should move us into our own territory and inside the 40. Let's put it about the, let's say the 38 maybe? First down and 10. Uh, where's my adding? Call it the 39. And Whatever. That's the <laughs> best field position for South in a while. And again, they had Granky back there, but a missed tackle. I think in the backfield now is Pua Vu and uh, Josh Granky. Inside handoff to Vu, he gets a good start through the line of scrimmage and then he's hit. Boy, it looked like he was going to get some yardage, but all of a sudden they just closed on him. Good hole though, good hole. 
Hit the hole hard, that's for sure. Yeah, and it was created too. I, I, you know, the pier is not tough or strong up front. I think the, you know, if you keep going at that, you can knock those guys around a little bit. Second down and eight, only a two yard pickup. It looked like he was gonna get five or six. Watch him right there, a big opening. But uh, not holding the block was uh, Callahan. Granke in motion, fake handoff to him, quick out. Oh, fast way off the mark to Riley Tudis. Or was it to Knuth? I think it was so bad we can't figure out who it was too. Halfway between. Uh-oh, injured to pure player. That's not a good thing. I'll tell you, they got a lot of young down. kids. Holy cow. That uh, right now it's a, a real challenge for uh, Coach Brian Rabbis, but uh, next year, the year after, it could uh, really pay dividends for them. Those yeah. guys develop. And they have so many young kids out there. and I, I think I mentioned before, it's just so difficult, the size of kids from juniors to seniors to sophomores. I mean, you can always throw in a couple. I mean, Berlin played as a as a sophomore and I mean you get guys that can play but when you got just a I handful of guys that are sophomores. I think and this is a personal opinion but the biggest jump or the biggest change when you jump from like a JV player up to the varsity is the tackling is so much better and then when you jump from a high school level senior type player move him into a college setting again it's the tackling that, yeah. that is so much better. There you see a couple of Sheboygan's finest. I think it's uh. You know, just, just, it's just difficult to do it. I mean, you can, it's just a, a, too many guys you need and there's too many bigger guys and things like that and it makes it just difficult. And as I said, this DePere team is just scattered with sophomores all over their roster. And uh, even James the junior. Jack Lebowski, uh walking off the field. Uh, that was good to see him walking anyway. All right, we got third down and eight. Pua Vu in the backfield with uh, Berlin. Got Granke in the slot on the left side. Tudis wide left. Berlin rolling left. Firing down, passes short and knocked down incomplete. He uh, does not look like he did the last time we were here, Chris. No. He has no zip on his passes. His accuracy is uh, way off. Wow, that's throwing into the wind. And <laughs> well, one thing you can do then is run shorter patterns. Right, and he had the uh, the the guy to he could have thrown that one. I thought that would have been a better idea, but tried to force it in Tudis there, and it just the wind knocked that down. Hey Murray, back to punt. Pin him here. Got to pin him. Kick is up in the air, and uh, not a real good bounce. It's going to be inside the twenty, and now if South can keep him back down there. They should get the ball back in good field position. 9.20 remaining in the third quarter. The pier on top, seven to nothing. Yeah, this might be their first lead of the season. Well, the other thing with now is that the pier does have the win, but they're not a very strong throwing team. And ball, they're not a very strong offensive team. <laughs> ball on the 18 yard line. Well, uh, Van Stratton has looked good. He's, he's run the ball hard, but uh, without a lot of blocking, I might say. Hand off to the man, Van Stratton through the line of scrimmage. And Bumble, uh, Bumble, Bumble. South Stop. picks it up. Tudis has it, he's down to the 10. And into the end zone, no, they're saying he's out of bounds inside the five. So Van Stratton had it, lost it. At about the 25 and Tudis picks it up and he's on the loose. Well, Platten's going out there because they think it's the extra point, but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately Todd Tudis called for the uh, extra point because he thought his son had scored, but uh, the official had something different, but he just stripped it right there, Marty. The ball's gonna be on the three yard line, first and goal. It's be interesting to see what uh, Wow, what a big run by Van Stratton. And a great strip there by Tudis. And I like this, our chances here. Pua Vu in the backfield with uh, Berlin. 
Handoff. Vu hit right in the backfield. He's dropped at the five. Not a chance. Got to have some blocking up front, boys. I like the play call. Yeah, Ben Stratton on the stop. You know, I was mentioning the youth of the pier. They only have 13 juniors, too. I mean, wow. Second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line now. Tudis wide to the left. Murray wide right. Berlin taking it off the corner. Pitches out to Granke. He loses it. And I who, no who had a shot at it but didn't get it? Oh. De Pierre signaling they have it, and they do. Oh, boy. Oy, 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 oy. Wow. What a change of events this has been. Ball is going to be spotted on the 11-yard line, first down for De Pierre. And the rain continues to come down. There's the replay. Great shot. Good slow-mo. Beauty. Great replay. We need a great replay when we do something good. Well, we just had one. All righty, here we go. Inside handoff to Van Stratton. He's stacked up right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Planton, one of the tacklers in there. By a set of angry Red Wings now. Don't come into our house and think you're going to shove us around and uh, we are going to uh, make a statement. Good defense. Pick up a one yard that time by Matt Van Stratton. What's the, uh, Wide to the left for De Pierre is uh, Logan Sudinski. Fox has it and he's hit and dropped. Making the good tackle was Blake Herbert. Next play. Third down. No gain on that play by by Matthews. Well, watch out for that little pop pass in the middle. Of course, they may not throw it from down this deep, Chris. Three wide receivers for uh, the Redbirds. And we get a penalty. I think somebody lined up offside. <laughs> offside on South. All right, five yard penalty is going to make it a third down and four for uh, the Redbirds. Oh, that one hurt. Number 20, Reese Zelly is wide to the right. And they give it inside to Stratton and he's battling forward and he's got the first down. Boy, if they don't have the penalty, Chris, he doesn't have the first down. Nope, another unbelievable. <laughs> Ball is going to be spotted on the 24-yard line. That was a pickup of seven, seven yards by Van Stratton. Lots of time left. Lots of time left in the game. Six and a half minutes. Seven nothing. South gets the ball, or excuse me, the wind in the second or the fourth quarter. I'm stumbling all my words. I'm nervous now, Marty. <laughs> Inside handoff to Van Stratton, and he's pulled down by uh, Travis Barber, hey. but uh, not before he picks up a few yards. I haven't called his name much. He's probably been in a lot of plays because they do swarm tackle quite well and the linebackers have been making so many plays, including Barber the senior. Second down and seven. Fake handoff, Matthews going deep. He's got a receiver out there. And coming up and knocking the ball away for Sheboygan South was Ashen Anderson. Good high school play there. 
Good pass, a little route. Don't see a lot of passes from DePierre. Good play by Anderson. Third down and seven there. You're gonna see it, Ash and Anderson going up over the top to knock the ball away from uh, Zelly. Third down. Hand off to Van Stratton up the middle. He's gonna be close to the first down. I think he's gonna be short by about a yard. He's been a load tonight. He's uh, done a chunk of the running for the Redbirds and he's gained pretty good yardage. Fourth and two, Marty, fourth and two. Yep, five yard pickup that time. Murray's going back. Is it him or Planton? Kick is away. Oh, and Murray lets it go and it takes a great bounce and now he's gonna pick it up and get dropped and he Bumble. fumbles the ball. Oh my gosh. Boy, this is unbelievable. What a change of field position and just a real bad play that time by Thomas Murray. There's, I mean, there's just no way around it. Well, he should, he was gonna let it go, but then he realized, oh my gosh, it's going too far and then I'll just pick it up to save two yards. <laughs> Oh my, and they have the wind. Oh my gosh. Ball on the 11, first and 10 to Pier, and uh, boy, what a change of field position there. You saw the, the muff punt. I mean, he made a mistake by letting it bounce and not going after it in the first place, and then he compounded it by going after it and losing it. Fifth turnover. Fifth. Oh. Five turnovers is just not a recipe for success, that's for sure. McVeigh in motion, inside hand off to Van Stratton, and uh, boy, he almost broke it. Gets it down near the five yard line. I would give it to him every time, every time. That's also Van the- Van Stratton is a 6-1 senior. It's the third time on the punts, Marty. Third on punts. Ball is spotted on about the six yard line. Give uh, Van Stratton a pickup of five yards. This is where that big D's got to step up. Come on, boys. Get a stop. Get a stop. South crowding the line of scrimmage. Motion. And Van Stratton goes through. That's not going to count. There's a, a penalty. I believe it's going to be on De Pere for motion. And uh, Zelly is pleading with the uh, side official to no avail. Wow, we saw it right away. I think it was, uh, I want to say it was over here. Number 20 was the guy who did it, and that, that was a Zelly. Second down and 10, ball back on the 11-yard line. Good replay. Watch this here. Watch yeah. him move. Oh, it's Zelly's out of our picture. He's down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't see it. Zelly was the wide receiver off to the right, and you couldn't see him. He was the one that moved. Tudis and Callahan now in on D, thinking that they may throw. Hand off to Van Stratton, and he tries to push the pile, but uh, doesn't get much, maybe a yard. Third down. I tell you, a field goal here is really going to hurt, too. Give him a two-score advantage. Well, the wind is, or the rain is lighter, but the wind is still going. Field goals are going to be tough, too, and they got to hold the snap. I mean, Third down, and about eight or nine. There you can see the rain coming down. Pass on the out pattern is knocked up in the air and incomplete. I believe that was Lancer or uh, Tudis coming over to uh, knock the ball away. Anderson. Anderson. Tudis was there too. You're right, Marty. And here you'll see the replay, Marty, in slow move. Coming up was Anderson, you're right. He made the, the breakup. Good play, Ashen. Fourth down. About a 26 yard field goal here, yeah, Marty. They're lining up for it, is right. Snap is good, the placement is down, and the kick is good. And that gives the pier 
a two score advantage at 10 to nothing with 324 remaining in the third quarter. Oh boy, this is uh, unbelievable. An 0-5 team, 22 points on the season, leading in the homecoming game, 10 to nothing. A 26 or 27 yard field goal, huh, Chris? Yep. I had 27. Okay. I don't want to say something, Marty, but uh, I think we're lucky. I think they're lucky. 27 yeah, yarder, here it is. Could be. I think they're lucky to give them a field goal there. All right, and, uh, kick off. I think that's a win. <laughs> that's a win. Well, in some respects, you're absolutely right, but the way South has been playing tonight, especially with the five turnovers, that may be more than enough. Anderson hands it off to Granke. He's going to take it around the left side. He picks up a couple of nice blocks and is going to get knocked down outside the 35-yard line. First and 10 for the Red Wings. 316 remaining in the third quarter. They trail 10 to nothing to the winless De Pure Redbirds. Here you see the return by Granke. Berlin in the backfield, Pouavu alongside. Granke in the slot on the left side. Inside handoff to Vu, he slips through the middle and gets it up to about the 44, 43 yard line, picks up seven or eight yards on that play. I think that hole's there, Marty. I think that's a good hole to go through right there. You're gonna get some stuff there. A Couple times now they run Vu right there. The Gotta thing get is, there's enough time you can run the ball. You don't have to go to your passing game you right. Know, right away. Especially against this wind, I just, I think it's so much more in our favor going to get into that fourth quarter, which is going to happen before this drive is over. Another inside handoff. Vu looking, looking, falls forward and has the first down. Good job of running by Pool Vu. First down, Red Wings. Ball on the 30, 47 yard line. Pick up a three yards. You know, South Marty, I don't think uh, South has a penalty tonight. No, but they have a lot of turnovers. Yeah, but. I know what you're saying. That part of their game has been pretty good. 225 and counting in the third quarter. Ashen Anderson, the lone setback. And we get a timeout by South. The player grouping was not right. Travis Barber supposed to be in there. He came in late. And uh, we don't like that timeout, do we, Chris? I don't like that timeout. You know, we used to run a play in high school, which is totally illegal, but a guy would go out of the huddle, come over to the sidelines and stand. Uh, stand right in front of all your players and, and nobody would see you ran down the field. <laughs> we ran in high school. I think and when we, you were in high school, that was legal. I don't think you can do that anymore. Th well, you have to report to the huddle, and then you can break from the huddle mm -hmm. and go there. But uh, I, you can't just, like I said, just step out onto the field and do that. Puavu getting 10-2 to two on the sideline. Oh, boy. Just not. Looks like he has leg cramps. Hopefully it's nothing serious. You're not going to gain yards from the uh, trainer's table. You got to get out on the field. <laughs> You've right. heard that. Anderson in the Wildcat formation. Barber was the missing player. He does belong in the backfield. It's first and 10. Well, I think that's where Vu would be, so that's why they Barber came in late. That could have been it. You're absolutely right. So we'll give Barber a break on that. He's going to. Anderson. Drops the ball and uh, is going to be sacked back at the 40. That's going to be a seven yard loss. Another case Gotta of. catch the ball. Yep, moving before you catch it. Loss of six. Second and 16. Second down. Uh, they're going to mark it at the 41, so it will be a loss of six. 
but uh, still way too many yards. That second and 16 is tough to take. Berlin back in, takes it. Looking on the quick out, and Callahan is tripped, and we're going to get pass interference on Will Shade. I don't know about that. Yeah, he tripped him, Chris, on the break. Well, did he, or did they get their feet tangled? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I want to see that replay again. Here you're going to see it up there. He wasn't going to catch that he, ball anyway. Oh, well, maybe he would have. Yeah, it was close. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He almost got a call at. I mean, certainly interfered with his uh, ability to try and catch the ball. Correct. That's true, Marty. I'll give it to you. That's a nice little 15-yard penalty. Anything to help? Minute and a half, we get the wind. Yeah, 132 remaining in the third ball is going to be spotted on the 44-yard line. That's been like our biggest gains, Marty. It's been personal Penalties. fouls on them and uh, pass interference on them. Berlin still in the backfield. We have uh, Tudis and Newth out to the right side. Murray and Granke out to the left side. Granke in motion. Boy, oh boy. Berlin trying to get the corner and he's not gonna get there. He's gonna be hit for a loss. Ay, ay, ay. I don't like that play, Chris. Well, it's just so wet, you know, and I think what you wanted there was Granke to clear so he could be a blocker, but then he had to slow up because it was right about time for the, you know, the snap call, and oh boy, just got botched there. I, I mean, I see, I know the intent, but man, and the, the slick and wet and stuff, it's just not as clean as you want it to be. Tick, 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 down under a minute. Loss of one. Okay. Berlin's got minus 10 yards and two carries this quarter. Give us the win, give us the win. Fumble. And Berlin falls on it at the 49. Hi, 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 hi. This is unbelievable. One mistake after another. Coach Hine trying to stay patient, trying to stay patient with the boys. Emphasis on boys. Ball just inside the 50 yard line. It's third down and about 15. I think we have an illegal I formation. Do they don't have enough guys on the line here. Wow, how did that get away with that? Yeah. Granky not gonna get it. He's gonna be, make about a yard or two on the run. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the pier on top, 10 to nothing. Hi, I'm Rochelle Lefebvre and this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did, adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Sometimes I want more information about what's in a video game. Now there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information about the ratings and rating summaries, go to esrb.org mobile. Back at South High School, and there you see the score to appear on top. 10 to nothing, South getting ready to punt to open the quarter. Not a good snap, but uh, Murray does a good job of fielding it and gets the punt away, and it takes a nice roll for uh, the Red Wings, and it's going to be down just outside the 15-yard line. It'll be first and 10 to appear. Well, that was a mistake by De Pere. They should have been calling timeout there, have them kick into the wind, but... Uh Dead. 
De Pierre's going to start with it. And let's see if they can flip what happened to them last week when uh, South got into the wind in the fourth quarter. They, they struggled and uh, couldn't score. Let's hopefully De Pierre is just going to start going backwards. All right, it's going to be uh, first and 10 De Pierre ball spotted on about the 18-yard uh, line. Matthews, number eight, the quarterback, and his big running back, who's done a big chunk of the ball carrying Matt Van Stratton back there with him. And he takes a handoff right up the middle and uh, trying to get to the outside, but is gang tackled and uh, maybe picks up a yard or so. Official keeps the clock running. Barber on the uh, top there. <coughs> Second down for De Pierre. Isn't that amazing? No, flag, no flags. I mean, there's been some flags on the pier, but none on south. Yeah. Sure makes the game go fast. I mean, we're we're 20 to nine. Knock on wood, but this pickle's just flying. Second down and ten. Another handoff to Van Stratton, trying to take it off a right tackle, and he picks up a couple. Not too much. The uh, clock continues to run, and if I'm to peer here, I'm just feeding. Feed Van Stratton. Yep, and let's get, you know, for them, they want to say let's get some first downs. South right here, big play. Let's get a stop, get the ball with the win. We should get good field position if we get a stop here. Punt receiving's been a struggle for us tonight, but it's all going to turn around here in the fourth. I got the solution, Chris. Put no one back there. Uh, Matthews has it, and good play out there on the edge. I think that was Callahan, and also backing him up was uh, Barber. A good play that time by the Red Wings. Callahan there, too. That was, that was just a great call. I thought that was a great call by DePierre, but the intelligence of South staying home, disciplined football, got that shut down. Great job by the Red Wings. Trent Keitel back again. Good center snap, the kick is away. Keitel's gonna let it go and it's not a very good punt. Goes out of bounds at the 46 yard line of De Pierre South in great field position again. Hopefully they can march it down in for a score. Get it down to a one score differential. Yep. I like starting in their territory. Got plenty of time left. We still have all our timeouts left. Life is good. Life is good. Boys, we're going to score on this drive. We'll send our defense get it stopped. We'll score, and we're going to win this one 14 to 10. That's the momentum you got to have or the positive mojo you got to have. Granke and Vu in the backfield with uh, Berlin. Berlin looking, going deep down the middle. Murray can't quite make the catch. On the coverage was Kane Johnson. I don't know, Murray. That was perfect pass. Just uh, just dropped it. It's right there. Second down and 10. <laughs> These guys are it's got such good hands, and, and they're so good. I'm just surprised. Pua Vu, the lone setback now. Granke in the slot on the right side. Murray wide right. Keitel, uh, pardon me, Riley Tudis wide left. Let's try that side. Okay, we will. And going for Callahan, passes incomplete. He was well covered out there by uh, Ryan Balo, I believe that was. Uh, number two, that was Will Shade. Third down and 10. Not been a good passing night for uh, Ethan Berlin. He struggled with his accuracy. All right, we got uh, four wideouts, two to the left, two to the right. Pua Vu in the backfield with uh, Berlin. It's third and 10. Berlin looking, firing on the deep out to uh, Murray, and he has the ball knocked away at the last minute. Looked like he had a beat on it, Chris, but the uh, defender came over and batted it away. 
Looked like it was going to be right there, but you're right. A good play by DePier. Got to give him credit there. Knocked it away. Just as it was about to go in the hands. Here's Here the you replay. Go. Yeah. Perfect play. Just a Kane Johnson on the coverage, by the way, and he comes over and knocks it away just as uh, the catch was about to be made. Pin him here. Got to pin him. A lot of time left. Holy cow, that only took 15 seconds, those plays. Evan Newhouse is back deep, and uh, he's going to get away with it. Get away from it. Ball takes a great bounce for South and is going to be downed at the six yard line. 9.24 remaining in the game. What South could really use now, Chris, is another turnover by DePierre. 40 yard punt. Nails him again. I, I watch this good punt here. 40 yards. Notice there's no white shirts oh, anywhere to be seen. Got a nice bounce. It could have went out of bounds at about the 20. Instead, it bounced down to the six yard line. Van Stratton up the middle and he gets shoved back, maybe picks up a yard. Yeah, the Piers just content right now to just run the clock. And that's good strategy. Yep, and just send my defense out and hopefully we can stop them. Don't turn it over and Second down and about eight, a pick up a two by uh, Van Stratton. Clock running, 8.50 and counting. Not worried yet, not worried yet. Hand off to Van Stratton. Can you imagine that? He gets it up to the nine. <laughs> well, I th they tried a little delay action, hoping that the linebackers think they're going to drop in coverage. I don't think so. We know what you're doing. We're thinking you're running. Where's 42? Where is he? Ball up to the nine yard line. A pick up a one by uh, Matt Van Stratton. They're feeding the senior. Feed the senior. 25 carries in the ball game for Van Stratton. Wow. He's going to have uh, a whole lot more carries than he started the game with. Third down and about seven. Inside handoff to Van Stratton, trying to spin forward, gets it up over the 10 yard line, but that's going to be it. Well, he had 42 carries coming into the night, and I think <laughs> oh, he's got 26. 26. <laughs> he might match his. Hopefully not. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, force that punt. And now we move a few yards closer here. Time is still not a problem. Not a problem yet. We have our three timeouts. Kick is away. Keitel coming over and it bounces inbounds. Get away from it. And it's going to be downed at about the 36 or 37 yard line. But again, South has great field position. But they need to do something with it. I don't know. I don't like those South players getting near that ball as it's rolling over there. The way it uh, you know what it seems like to me? I'm going to be a hero. Yeah. And it doesn't work like that. No. Best thing to do is just get out of the way. Seven and a half. Berlin in the backfield again at quarterback. Good to see him out there. Yep. We're all right. We're all right. Fake handoff to Puavu. A little screen pass or a little swing pass out to Callahan is incomplete and probably a good play because he was well covered by uh, Will Shade. They did not have uh, the pure fool on that. We haven't had too many completions, have we, Marty? 0 for 4 in the fourth. Yeah, I know that. And, and uh, let's check out the third quarter wasn't much better, mostly because they didn't have a ball a lot. They were 0 for 2. Second down, 10. Berlin back being rushed hard. Throw back to Callahan. He's got it at the 20 and slips down at the 19. Good play. Good play call. You had everyone flowing to the left. You throw it back right. And uh, moving to the red zone here. Been there before. First and 10. Ball spotted on the 19. 17-yard pickup. You're going to see it again. 
Motion goes to the left, throw back to the right. Callahan wide open. If he doesn't slip, he's going to get a couple more yards. Inside handoff to Puavu, and he's hit right near the 20 yard line. He's not going to get anything well, on one, that run. Once again, Ethan moved towards the ball before it came and uh, struggled on the exchange there because of that. Um, First running play by uh, South. Well, if they score yet here, you know, about the five minute mark, four and a half, still plenty of time with those three timeouts. Berlin fakes the handoff, looking down the middle. He's got Callahan open, and he's battling for the ball, but he had to go against two Redbird defenders, and knocking the ball away was Evan Newhouse, number seven. Third down, long 10 to go for a first down. There you're gonna see it right down the middle. He had him open for a minute, but the closing and knocking the ball away was Newhouse. Third down, 10. The pier shifting on the defensive line. Pass to the corner of the end zone. Catch is made by Murray, but was he in the end zone? No, foot was out of bounds. Wow, you're going to go for it here, Marty. Oh, you got to. I don't think you're going to try a 37-40-yard you know, yeah. field goal in this wind here. Looks like the rain has stopped, though, Marty. Yeah, the track is starting to dry out, actually, a little bit. Can't use a timeout. We got to get a play in and we got to get this going because we're going to need those timeouts after we score. 6 16 remaining in the ball game. South down 10 to nothing to the winless De Pure Redbirds. Fourth down. Tudis. Berlin back. He's forced out of the pocket. He's got some room. Throws to the end zone. Coming back and not making the catch, but it's intercepted. And the running, the, res, the interceptor runs it out to about the 20-yard uh, line, and that was Reese Zelly on the interception. Oh, boy. Nice play. Nice play by Zelly. You know, again, with the scrambling, you could have a situation where the... And we get a timeout with uh, 6.03 remaining. It's going to be uh, De Pere's ball, and you can depend on them uh, running the ball three times, trying to run off time on the clock. Turnover number six. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Ball is spotted on the 14-yard line. Our next ball game will be next Friday when Green Bay East invades Sheboygan North in their homecoming game. That'll be our third week in a row of doing homecoming games. So you look for that. Uh, there you see the uh, South High defense. Who's well, been good? It's, it's been good tonight. They oh. have been good, but uh, they're, they're going to have 130 yards, if that, 120. Yeah. They gave up 120 yards, and they gave up only 72, I believe, in the first half. And they don't have much, you know, <laughs> much, much here. more than that. No, they've been uh, content to uh, go three and out. No, and uh, all right, first down. McVeigh in motion, handoff to uh, Van Stratton. He's in the open and pulls it out to the 26 or 27 yard line before he's knocked down. That's a good gain for Van Stratton. Wow. 12 yard pickup, Chris. And that's what we were afraid of. You know, all of a sudden he's going to bust one. Actually, make the, that's at the. 26 or a 12 yard pickup. Well, we saw this year Manitowoc beat Notre Dame 6 to 3. That's their only loss this year. And then we saw North beat Manitowoc. <laughs> you know, last week Sheboygan South all over conference leader Ashwabanon. And Hand now. off to uh, Van Stratton. And uh, he's running hard, Chris. He's out over the 30 yard line. And uh, he's making South pay now. 
with some hard running. And he's going to have over 30 carries by the time we're done. Yeah, I was just going to say, he's got to be getting close to 30. Oh, boy. 5-12. Second down and six. And Stratton off right tackle, and uh, he's near a first down. He's going to be knocked down at the 35, but another substantial gain by Matt Van Stratton. He just might be, Chris, their uh, player of the game. <laughs> well, I'm serious. I oh, mean, my gosh. You know, he's, they, he's the only they've guy leaned on him. I mean, he's been the man. He is. He is. <laughs> they, they don't have it. anybody else. I'll have to be. I mean. He's not going to be get any recognition for all conference or nothing, and I don't think there's going to be the peer player that gets any recognition. But uh, tonight, he's he's carried the mail. 29 carries, number 30 coming up right here. Need a stop. Got to get there him stopped. There he is. Oh. And he's through the middle, and he's up over the 40-yard line, close to the 43. But another good gain by Matt Van Stratton. That was his 30th carry of the ball game. And now you're going to have to start using your timeouts. Yep. Because Clock now. running with a 4.06 right now. They're going to wind it as they get the uh, chain set. Ball spotted at the 43-yard line. Give them a gain of eight. See, before you had to get a stop, get the ball back, and then you could use it on your next possession. But you're not getting the stop. So you're going to have to count on timeouts now and maybe an onside kick later. But uh, now it's time to start calling timeout after this play. Van Stratton hit right near the line of scrimmage, falls forward for maybe a yard. And we get a timeout by South. That's uh, their first timeout used. Give Van Stratton a yard, but that's it, but that's enough. Alrighty. See fifty yards this half. And he had 47, I believe, in the first half. You are correct, sir. 97 yards so far and 30 carries. It doesn't sound impressive, but he's always been going forward. And he hasn't been hit for losses. Nobody else has 60 yards, Marty. They got that one catch or two. I mean, that's all they have is about 125 yards, and he's going to have 100 of them. Come on, boys. All right, second down and nine. Go for that strip, go 337 for that 337 remaining, McVeigh in motion. Hand off to Van Stratton, he slips one tackle, slips another, and falls forward to about the 48. He's up over under now. It's gonna be third down, timeout again by South, that's their second. Clock stopped at the 329 mark to appear on top 10 to nothing. They scored in the second quarter on an 11 yard pass from Matthews to Zelli and kicked the extra point. And then in the third quarter, they kicked a field goal. Uh, Evan Zellner, I believe it was. No, no, no Spencer Marshall. Spencer Marshall, pardon me, kicked a 27 yard field goal to make it 10 to nothing. And, uh, <laughs> I messed up too, it's Brett Marshall. I apologize, Marty. Hey, that's all right. Brett Marshall, number 25, kicked the field goal. All right, here we go. Got to get stopped. Absolutely. Third down and six. Absolutely required right here. And falling forward is, who's number 42 yet? I forgot. <laughs> Matt Van Stratton. <laughs> he is carrying the mail. And he is having fun. He's got 33 carries now. Right at the 50-yard line, another three-yard pickup for that young man. 
Now, if I'm to peer here, I'm running this all the way down till I start seeing somebody start motioning at the, for too much time, and then I'm going to call timeout. I'm looking over. He is. Their coach is doing it, too. He starts going, going, going. Timeout. Good call by the peer coaching staff. All righty. 2.48 remaining. They call a timeout just before the clock was about to run out, trying to use as much time as possible. Yep. There's, it's going to be a fourth and about three. They will be punting. Can't believe he's taking my advice. Hey. Holding off on you that. You are the man. <laughs> awesome with a capital A. <laughs> we can't call you a diaper dandy anymore, though. Oh, 2.48. Now I'm worried. I'm concerned. They need at some point to get a big play, whether it's a long punt return or another long pass play, but something they cannot grind it out anymore. And uh, unfortunately, the big plays have been pretty much absent tonight for the uh, Red Wings. Yep. Big play by Tudis on that strip, ran out of bounds, which I don't yeah. understand how and he they had a long, long pass play, but uh, you know that's been about it. Yeah. I don't know, he ran out of bounce over there, but... Nobody back for uh, South. Good snap. Kick is away. Nice punt made by uh, Marshall. Uh, but he doesn't get much of a bounce. South will get it on about the 30. <coughs> Sorry about that, Chris. Oh, and I was just thinking, that was a poor thing by DePere. They didn't want it to roll back towards the south side, but you know what? You let that roll, 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 so the clock runs. Why would you pick it up and stop it and give them any s seconds here? But, well... Two scores and two forty-two. Ashton Anderson comes out. Uh, Berlin will be in the backfield. Tudis Murray, Granke, the wideouts along with Callahan, Puavu in the backfield. And now they uh, have a little bit of cover two going on here. It's going to be tough. Berlin fakes a pass and now he's going up the middle <clears throat> looking for the sideline and uh, gets it out of bounds outside the 40 yard line. That should be just enough for the first down. Or a measure. I think you're right though, I think he's over. First down, good call Marty. Ball spotted at about the 42 yard line. Give him a pick up a 12. Here you see the replay, that play took 10 seconds. Did the right thing by going out of bounds. But uh, that's a senior for you. Yep, good, good decision there. Deep, deep cover two defense. And, and penalty. We're going to get our first on the Red Wings. Of course, it comes with under three minutes left. Okay. No, it's going to be at the pier. Offside, the pier. Now, I was going to say, no time went off the clock. That's correct. 2.32. Ball up at the 47 yard line now with the uh, five yard penalty. Good catch by uh, Ethan Berlin. Fires a strike down to Grank. He had it right in his hands and then he dropped it. Uh, another drop. Well, according to my stats, Chris, we're. Uh, South is one for nine in the quarter. Second down and five. Need a big play somewhere along the line. Get the ball down deep and hopefully score on another big play. I'm going to number two right here and now. Give him a shot down the field. Throw it up. Let him make a play. Looks like he's being single covered. Yep. If you can run a route here for Knuth, oh, he's flush though. Berlin throwing on the run, threw it behind Murray. Incomplete. And uh, the passing game for the Red Wings has just been uh, pretty much non-existent. Incomplete, 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 incomplete. Guess what? You see it. Threw it behind him. Completion to uh, Callahan. Incomplete, incomplete. Intercepted. Need one here. It's third and five. Berlin looking on the out pattern. Oh Murray my. had it in his hands and dropped it again. Unbelievable. 
going to be fourth down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, it's like this, Chris. If it's not off target and it's on target, it's dropped. So either way, you're uh, in real tough shape. Boy. Fourth down play. There's a 2.20 remaining in the ball game. De Pere on top, 10 to nothing. Richard Bartson on the top camera. Eric Wiesman on that camera. Scott Mailoff spinning the dials in the truck. Chris Wright exasperated with the uh, <laughs> play tonight, yeah. as is uh, your play-by-play -play guy. Uh, depressed, depressed more. Get the first, got it, uh, Murray. Murray makes the catch and he goes out of bounds at the 45 yard line. So they get the first down. Not much more, but uh, keeps the drive alive. Well, this drive started at 2.42 or only at 2.14. Eight-yard pickup on that play. That's uh, not big enough. First and 10 ball on the 45. DePierre looking for their first win. <clears throat> and Berlin alone in the backfield throws it up deep. And uh, not aware where the ball was was Josh Grinke. It was to him, and he didn't know it. You know, it's been two drives, and uh, number two hasn't gotten any balls except for that one that was picked off at the end. Yeah, they're not even looking his way, Chris. No, and no, I know everything has been to six, a little bit to 99. I know it's tough, but... Uh, I know it's tough for Ethan. They'll see everybody and everything, but and you're looking. It's easier as a lefty though. You're looking to your right, and he's all. Tudis is always on your left, so you got to come back across your body and then look right. at him. You know, if you had Tudis maybe on this side, it'd be different. But okay, uh, we got three wideouts out to the left. Murray the lone now wide out to the right. Granky in motion. Berlin steps up. He's going to run with it. Look to the sideline and get out of bounds. Right at the 40 yard line, he's gonna pick up maybe five yards. <clears throat> On the run. He's gonna make a third down in five. Well, the reason I like that when he runs his, his cover, you know, he's got more receivers on the left there. That means the safety might have to come up to cover, you know, one of the, the up guys. And there so that way, Tudis could have one-on-one -on -one coverage down the, down the side. See, if you run a short route with Knuth, it's kind of like a decoy. You could run two to steep. Berlin back, dropping back, pump fakes, comes up, throws a strike, and has his receiver. Nice catch made by Knuth at about the 25-yard line. And the Knuth say, what, my son a decoy? Let's throw it to him. <laughs> what does that guy up in the booth know? <laughs> nice catch, Jacob. First down 10, ball spotted on about the 22 or 23 yard line, a 17 yard pickup on that play. And spike made, it's gonna be second down. Yeah, the only problem with this, Chris, is we're down to 155. They're really, even if they score a touchdown, they're not leaving themselves much time if they get the onside kick. Yeah, and there's uh, there you see Knuth on the catch. Here's a sophomore. Good hands there, Jake. Yeah, he played a lot of years of baseball with my son. Three wide outs to the right. Tudis alone wide out on top. He's looking for him over the middle and throws in the double coverage. Murray. Who's got it? Murray. Was that Murray making the catch? Yes, it was. Thomas Murray taking it away from two defenders. Wow. What a grab. First and goal, ball spotted on the six. That's a 17 yard pickup. And a spike by Berlin. First and goal, ball spotted on about the four yard line. That's a deceiving, what he should, there you see Murray on the catch on the replay, great replay. What you should have done is thrown the towel down and then go back and throw pass. <laughs> <laughs> throw the towel down. <laughs> what a great trick play. Okay, second down and goal. Ball on the four. 
146 remaining. Oh, they got Wildcat out there. And Hartman near the end zone. Did he get in? Yes, touchdown, Sheboygan South. Nick Hartman on the carry. Ran the Wildcat, he caught the ball and uh, took it in. 142 One remaining. One minute on the drive, Marty. Really? Exactly. Just think, all that time, couldn't get in in one minute, you score. Well, you know your theme song, Don't Stop Believing. That's what you gotta have. Need this extra point. Kick is up and good. That makes it uh, 10 to seven to Pierre. And I think we're gonna be looking at an onside kick, Chris. South only has one timeout remaining. There you get a look at the extra point again. They attempted nine passes, Chris, and only completed three of them. Well, the other thing I like about the onside kick is that it's going to be a quick play, so a lot of time can't go off. They're only 4 of 16 in the quarter when they're passing with one interception, but uh, been good enough. Got the touchdown. Planton coming on. He'll be doing the onside kick. DePier has six guys between the 50 and the 45, and then they have another four guys between the 45 and the 40. Well, another thing you could do is try to pop it up over the, the second line of defense, try to get to you know, 27, but otherwise you just got to give her a shot here. South has eight men to the right of Planton. And uh, oh, time no. out by DePier. Oh, I hope so. Don't be us. And uh, that'll leave DePier with one timeout. Well, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle this uh, <laughs> score sheet business because I am at the bottom of the fourth quarter. Well, let's just hope there's 15 more, well, 12 more plays because that way you get stops and uh, South gets the ball. I'm wishing bad things for you, Marty. I'm wishing bad things for you. I don't want just a couple late uh, sit downs on the ball and it ends about six plays, but. Yeah. Well, the success rate of onside kicks, especially when the other team knows it's coming, is not very great. You have to be a little bit lucky. Nice shot, Eric, your best shot all night. <laughs> All right, Planton getting ready. Richard Bartson on top giving you that uh, shot. And I'll tell you, he's been in the rough weather, the rain and the wind. Eric's had the rain down below. All right, Planton, here we go. Come on. Okay, it's a nice catch by that up receiver was Nick Kent, number 48. We haven't called his name all night, but he makes probably the biggest play of the night. I don't want to say anything, Marty, about one second off the clock, but that's all he had. I mean, once he's down, I mean, you don't start it till it's received, and uh, he went straight down. So basic thing here, you can have a timeout, and you should get the ball back, but it's going to be very, there you see the tail of the tape, but you're talking. Uh, all right, I think Van Stratton will get it again. Strip, strip and stop, strip, stop. You want to tackle fast, too, to get the ball. Oh, no. there's an opening, and he's got room to run. He breaks a tackle. He's down to the 30. Tuna's trying to get him down. He's down to the 20 before he's finally ripped down. Big game gained by Matt Van Stratton. He breaks a tackle there, and Tuna's trying to fight with him, trying to get, it, get the ball Strip out, it, yep. and uh, just not working. Good idea, though. Great idea, Riley. Where was the original yard line on that play, Chris, do you know? Is it about the 45? It had to have been the 46 yard line. 46, 34 yard pickup. Ouch, biggest gain of the night. Yep. Well, now they're going to victory. 114, 113, 112, kneel down. 
And uh, coming through on the uh, shot there was Abraham Yang. Hopefully there won't be a penalty, but don't do it again. Clock running at 54, 53. Second down. Seventy-eight yards in the corner in the quarter by Matt Van Stratton. And another kneel down. And that should pretty much do it. Clock running with 25 seconds. I don't think they'll have to run another play. Well, the ball has just been whistled in play, Chris, so they will not run another play. This will be it. DePierre comes in 0-5 to South's homecoming game and, and takes them and beats them 10-7 in uh, what was not a very clean game, but uh, you got to give DePierre credit. Well, they took advantage of the six turnovers and... I mean, I'm just stunned, as I think the entire south side of Sheboygan is. And when you, you know, people pick up the paper tomorrow, they'll say the same thing. But six turnovers, I mean, they took advantage of the situation of the weather and the mistakes. And uh, he came out with a, a W that some days the better team doesn't win. And I think that's definitely the case today. But that's why they play the game. That's exactly right. For the crew... Cameraman Richard Bartson up on top. Eric Wiesman on the field camera. Uh, for my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Scott Mailoff, the director in the truck, doing a fine job with the replays. Uh, <laughs> wasn't Kerry Coutts, there you go, Scott Mailoff directing. Uh, great job by the crew, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week when uh, Green Bay East invades Sheboygan North for uh, their homecoming. That'll be our broadcast for tonight. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road.